today's video we are going to start unit 5 which is about conservation of natural resources so let's start as you see kids the title of the unit says conservation conservation means to save let me write over here conservation means to save natural resources let's start our surrounding is called our environment. Environment is very important for us. It includes seas, rivers, lakes, deserts, mountains, forests and green fields. All these things are created by Allah Almighty and are called natural resources. Men, animals and plants depend upon each other and also upon the environment. Human development has caused many problems in natural environment. Forests have been cut. Green areas have been occupied by new cities. Such activities have reduced the number of animals and trees. Overpopulation in cities, traffic noise and smoke are causing different problems. So kids, this unit is all about how to save natural resources, uh, which starts with the understanding of environment that it is really very important and it is all about the surrounding of ourselves. What we see in our surroundings, we can see sea, rivers, lakes, deserts, mountains, forests, green fields. So all these things are a natural resource because these have been provided by Allah Almighty or you can say provided by the nature and are all natural resources. So let's highlight them first. And uh, not only this, but men, animals and plants also depends upon each other and also on the environment. What we see today is that uh, as so far as this era is very developmental and we are moving towards the technological advancement, uh, these things have caused certain problems for the natural environment. What problems are there? That, uh, let's highlight the problems with color red because these are problems. Forests have been cut, green areas have been occupied by new cities and due to these two major problems, the number of animals and trees have reduced to a certain great number. Not only this, but overpopulation in cities, traffic noise and smoke are also causing different problems. So, first of all, we learned about the natural resource and then we talked about the human development which has caused Four to five different problems as have been highlighted over here in this unit that forests have been cut so drastically, green areas have been occupied by new cities, so we don't find much forests and green areas, that's why we face so many problems uh, and due to which the, definitely the, the uh, you know wildlife is also getting reduced, overpopulation in cities, traffic noise, smoke, all these have caused so many problems. Let's move to the next page. Now let's look, let's have a look at effects of decreasing natural resources. So we discussed four to five major problems on the previous page. Now let's have a look at what effects do they have. Air, water, forests and minerals are all natural resources. They affect the life of living organisms. If the environment is polluted, animals and plants cannot survive. So the first effect is that if the environment is polluted, animals and plants cannot survive. This is the first effect. Shortage of water makes the land infertile. This is a second effect that the land is infertile. Infertile land produces less crops leading to a shortage of food and famine. Famine is the state when you have no water and food to live, when you are below the line of survival. So this is again a uh, an, an effect shortage of food and and famine. Not only this, shortage of minerals like gas, oil, and coal will create shortage of energy, which will also a great impact. Deforestation affects wildlife and changes climate. So these are also an impact of the decreasing natural resources. Now, since the unit says conservation of natural resources, here are certain ways of 
saving natural resources which says how to save the natural resources we can save our natural resources by taking the following measures first factories should be established far from urban areas second rivers should not be polluted with waste water of the factories third instead of petrol or diesel alternate third instead of petrol or diesel alternate sources should be used as fuel fourth solar energy or water resources should be used for generating electricity fifth natural resources should be used wisely and distances should be covered on foot to save fuel canals and drains should be cemented with bricks to reduce water seepage plants should be watered using fountains unnecessary cutting of trees should be stopped make dams for water shortage use of heater should be avoided in winter unnecessary lights should be switched off water in houses should be used with care so these are the 12th common uh, the 12th common ways to save and conserve the natural resources so kids you should also start doing and applying all or even if you cannot apply all due to certain conditions you should apply the maximum strategies or ways that have been told you in this unit to save the natural resources so if kids if you are uh, in the morning you wake up and you brush your teeth you should uh, turn your tap off so that the water should not be wasted this is also a way to preserve natural resource next we have a sub topic of endangered animals now who are endangered animals animals live happily in their own environment forest animals live happily in the forest due to deforestation forest animals like panda lion black deer brown deer bear marhor etc are in danger to disappear forever hunting of animals like partridge chakor and marhor is prohibited in pakistan so endangered animals are those who live in forests but due to the deforestation due to the heavy cutting of forests and trees they are being reduced and decreased in number and we may afraid of uh, thinking the fact that there may be a day when we don't even know the names of these creatures so these are the endangered animals who are really in danger then come extinct animals extinct means past that have been gone they they don't have any name on the earth now animals like dinosaurs lived on land in the past but nowadays they are not seen anywhere on the earth such animals are called extinct animals so extinct animals are basically the ones who we do not find nowadays and they are gone forever such as dinosaurs so this is a very important unit as per the concept that it says to us that conservation of natural resources or how to save natural resources we have been told 12 different ways to save natural resources there may be countless other ways and strategies you can find your own but you should start saving your natural resources from today onwards let's move to the exercise of this chapter the exercise says answer the following questions kids so as we have already discussed all these things the causes of deforestation deforestation affects on reducing the trees and animals what is the main reason of river pollution the waste material in the rivers are crops and animals affected by pollution yes they are what are different ways to save our natural resources there are 12 different ways what will be the effects of shortage of natural resources we will face the shortage of food and famine now we have to mark the correct answer let's find out which one is the correct one the first one says seas mountains and forests are the examples of natural resources pollution affects living organisms mountains deserts living organism organism means that particular creature that takes breath that has a growth that has some development so mountains and desert deserts are also included in living organism so this is one complete answer next is bird whose hunting is not allowed in the forest of pakistan is partridge 
Next we have blanks to be filled in. These are words are given to us dinosaurs, rivers, infertile, coal and sun. So let's just start. Shortage of water makes the land infertile. Next is gash it is, is an example of minerals found in the earth. Coal is an example of minerals. The dash is the biggest source of energy. Sun is the biggest source of energy, kids. Dash should not be polluted by waste water of the factories, rivers. So that's all from the exercises part. I hope you understood the whole concept in chapter with its exercises. Uh, I'll be giving answers to these questions in my next video for you to check whether you have done the correct answers or not. Till then, take care of yourselves. Bye.